Hey guys, Ultraman52 here. Today, guys, is a little bit of a different video. Also, long time no see, by the way. I haven't done a video in quite a while. I've been I've been very sick for for the past week, so I apologize for the lack of streams and for so much more. But anyways, what this video is, we're gonna be going over all of the attending voice actors and voice actresses for this year's 2018's Metrocon. I should also mention a few things beforehand that one thing that's happening in Metrocon that I've been very excited to go see is how many of you out there know a thing, know about a thing called Kaiju Big Battle? For those of you who don't know what Kaiju Big Battle is, think about Jackass, combine that with Godzilla, and combine that with the WWE. That's Kaiju Big Battle. Guys in giant monster costumes, in a, in a wrestling ring beating the shit out of each other. And that's it. <laughs> I've always wanted to, to go see one because it's a huge thing. Um, it's kind of like an underground thing, really. It's got, like, it's got a really good cult following. So I'm, it's happening Thursday and Friday in the, in, a, in the main event hall, and I am definitely going to go see that because I love Kaiju Big Battle. So uh, you can, They also have a uh, YouTube as well. I think they do stream on Twitch, like a lot of their matches are streamed on Twitch. So if you have not seen them, please go ch check them out. They're really awesome. But anyways, here we go. Starting off with the first voice actress. Uh, I'm also going to make cuts whenever there's like a long pause if I'm trying to find something. But first voice voice actress we have is <clears throat> Jamie Jamie Marchi, I think that's how I pronounce it. <clears throat> now, she voiced like, a few people that are pretty, pretty darn notable, I will in, in fact say. Miss Valentine in One Piece. I don't know if that's really like a main like a main villain in that series. I, I don't follow One Piece n anywhere near as much as I used to. I'll, also, I'll pr provide like the banner for the one here and then also like the person they played. So here is Miss Valentine from One Piece. Yeah, I have n I have n no idea. <laughs> uh, next um, is a pretty cool one because she also played, she also did I believe the, um, <clears throat> me, I'm still sick by the way. I'm not a hundred percent but I'm close to being a hundred percent. <clears throat> But she did also, by the way, play. She also did do. I think the script writing. I think it was. What was the script writing? Yeah, she wrote. I believe she wrote the script for the English dub of, it, and also played one of the title characters. She played. She played. Panty in Panty and Stocking. Of course, Panty being this character right right here. I'm getting her to sign my, my copy as well. So there's Panty right here. If you want to see a better picture of her. But yeah, I'm very excited to finally. See, meet someone from Panty and Stocking. Uh, I love that series. I, I've watched. I watched the entire series already. All uh, I'm gonna do that again. I, I forgot. Shit. Oh well. But yeah, I watched the entire series. Love it so much. Really, really funny. Uh, if for, like for those of you who have never seen it, definitely go watch it. It's super funny. Very, very raunchy too. Excuse <laughs> me. And not only that, she did as well play Ray's Grimora, Grimori. I think that's the type. That's how you pronounce it. And I believe she says her also a DNR. Sorry, ADR script. I think I mean she's probably the, the script writer of the, of the English dub. But she played that character in the High School DxD series. She of course one of the main characters. And uh, well, 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 here she is, right, right here. Damn. Pretty sexy, right? <laughs> But uh, I only have the complete second season of High School D DxD, High School DxD New, so yeah. But there she is again, right there. But getting her to sign that. I'm also gonna be getting the voice actress to sign the actual DVD, or well, the, the actual cover art itself, like the paper insert, not the slip cover, because um, nine times out of ten, if you had them sign the slip cover, uh, it get it's not like, uh, like, like what's the word I'm trying, trying to say, trying to use. Um, when you are using the slip cover, it's I guess like it's not like um, absorbent enough to absorb the marker or whatever they use to sign their name. So nine times out of ten, it's to, you'll be able to actually smear the autograph. That happened a few times uh, for a few of my autographs from a Richard uh, from Richard Epcar who signed my copy of Digimon Season One. His autograph is a little bit smeared on one of his uh, letters. Because again, it's on the slip cover. It's not on, on the actual paper insert. The next person coming is Jenny Tirado. I think if I pronounce it. Uh, some of her notable voices here that I will mention right now. For one thing, she is the voice of Baby Pan in Dragon Ball Super. 
Uh, I don't own anything that is Dragon Ball Super related. I don't own anything that is, well, I don't need the Blu-ray for Super, so I can't really get her to decide anything like that. But she did play one other Dragon Ball Z character. She played the role of Android 21 or Majin Android 21 in a little game called Dragon Ball Fighters. Yeah, I'm getting her to sign this. I I love Android Twan. She's a really fun character character to play as, and a really cool character in general. So definitely getting her to sign to sign that. Another character she plays as. I don't have the Blu-ray of it, but I'm gonna be ordering it soon. So you might see a unboxing video very soon in the near, in the probably in the next like few weeks. But she played the role of Layla Mal Mal Malkol. I think that's how I pronounced the last name. I'm pretty sure that's how I pronounced the last name. In Kogias Akaito the Exiled, from I think the episode The Waverin Arrives, which is the first episode of the OVA. Uh, I have not seen a single episode of, of Akaito the Exiled. I really want to watch it. Uh, I'm going to be ordering that off Amazon very soon, next time I get paid for, for work. So there is that. But very excited to, in fact, see a, Ko a Kogias voice actor coming. Um, in fact, I believe that uh, Jamie Marchi as well. I think she did also play a character in Code Geass at Kaito the Exiled as well. But I believe it wasn't a minor, sorry, a major character. But she played the role in that anime as Mary Xiang? Xiang? I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, again, I don't know if that's a major character or not. So I can't really say if I want to get her to sign it to sign my, my uh, eventual copy because, again, I'm, I'm not seeing the series, so I can't really judge, say anything. But uh, those two things, I'm getting signed by her. And now on to the first male voice actor. We have Jason Mar Marsden. Now, he is a, a really cool voice actor for to appear here because he, for a few things, he's not really an anime voice actor. He's more of a Disney voice actor, which is pretty cool. Because for a few things, for one, he played the role of, um, it's technically a Disney film, but he played the role of Haku in Spirited Away, the English dub. Have not seen Spirited Away in a very, I haven't seen Spirited Away in a very, very long time. I know that, like, they were, they've they been re-releasing the films on Blu-ray, the, the Studio Ghibli films on Blu-ray, so I really need to hop along getting those soon. But you also might know him as the voice of Max Goof in a Goofy movie. Yeah, that guy's coming. <laughs> I am definitely going to be getting a copy of a Goofy movie to sign because, for one thing, they're everywhere. You can get them super cheap or like five dollars, brand new at Walmart. So I'm getting, so I'm definitely going to be getting a copy to, so to get signed. And two, a Goofy movie is possibly my favorite Disney film of all time. And two, I would say it's even one of my top ten favorite favorite movies. I love that film so much. Like, it's a very... It's still to say a childhood film of mine, even to the films like um, Space Jam. I, I love Space Jam, even though some people don't like Space Jam. I personally love Space Jam, but that's just me. But that's the only thing I'm going to get him to sign there. He also did play the role of Chester McBadbat in the Fairly Odd Parents. Although I think he was the second voice actor to play him, because I think the original, excuse <coughs> me, I think the original voice actor of that character, uh, I guess, quit the show or didn't come back. I guess I have no no idea, but there's that. So now I'm moving on to the next voice actor. This one's cool. This one's a cool one because I've never actually had one of these people come. Um, I will do a film like like this come to Metro. We have J. Michael. Tatum, I think that's how I think that's how pronounce the last name. He is really cool because you might know him for playing the role of Scar in uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. He also is Sebastian Michaelis in Black Butler. I've never, in fact, seen an episode of Black Butler in my life. I've heard it's a really cool anime, and I really need to definitely hop on on that uh, about seeing it. <clears throat> so. Or, 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 or even read the manga. Like, who friggin' knows? <laughs> um, but there's also one thing as well. He did do a mo a live-action movie that I am definitely going to get him to sign. Not the Blu-ray of. I have a mini I have a mini poster that I'm going to get him to sign. For those of you who um, don't know, he played the character Hideki Akasaka. 
Akasaka, I think that's how I pronounce it. Again, I'm terrible with, with Japanese name especially. But I think that's how you pronounce it, but he did that, he, play, he played that character in the Funimation dub of... Shin Godzilla. Yeah. <laughs> this is my uh, mini poster that I got from uh, a, a friend slash viewer, Redundant Squash. He uh, got to see the movie in uh, the, the UK for a limited screening, very limited screening of only one day. And he sent me this as a, uh, as a gift, so thank you, Redundant, if you're watching this. But yeah, I'm gonna get him to sign this. This is friggin' awesome. I've never, I've, I've never had a Shin Godzilla, a Godzilla actor, I guess, um, sign anything of mine. So that's really cool. Hopefully he is gonna be the first of many Godzilla voice actors that, um, also probably a picture of, 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 of the character as well that, that he uh, played. But definitely excited that he's, uh, he, uh, that, uh, a Godzilla actor is coming. Not a actual actor actor but a voice actor is coming to Metrocon which is again awesome I hopefully they add more Godzilla voice actors to Metro uh, I know that in certain cons I think um, Florida Supercon occasionally they actually get some of the Godzilla uh, people who did who were in the suits like um, I think like this year I think at Supercon at Florida Supercon they're getting the suit actor of the Millennium Godzilla coming which is freaking awesome I want to go there so goddamn bad, but it's all the way in fucking Fort Lauderdale, and that's like a like a two like a two and a half hour drive, and it'd be kind of a waste of money just to go. Well, it'd be kind of a waste to just to go there for one day to meet one guy. So I don't know. I think it's actually super close around MetroCon time, so there's possibly no way in hell I can even go. So yeah. <laughs> Plus, I'm pretty sure that no one would, would, would want to drive me to MetroCon to meet one freaking dude and then drive back. So, hopefully, maybe next year I might not go to Metro and see like what other cons I can, can go to. I might go to the Grand to the Grand G Galloping Brony Gala thing, the Grand Brony Gala thing, something like that. Uh, it's Florida's uh, My Little Pony convention. Even though I'm not a fan anymore of, of ponies, I think the show had just gone completely down for fucking hill. I think it's complete trash now, now to be honest. Um, I still enjoy the show for what it is, but I don't know. Like, I do want to go to other cons as well, like Megacon, Florida Supercon, because they also get some non-anime uh, voice actors. Like, I think that Megacon, they actually get some people from the WWE coming uh, this year, which is pretty cool. And I'm getting way off track, too, by the way. <laughs> so I got on the tangent of, of Godzilla that I ended up in other shit, too, so I, so I apologize. And the last voice actor that is coming, pretty cool one, because it'll be the second voice actor that is, in fact, coming. Also, I should mention that um, J. Michael Tatum, he also does play a character in Code Geass, A Kaito the Exiled. Um, his name in that, his name in that uh, series was Leon... Malkul, who I believe is the older or younger, or no, I think it's actually the foster. It's some type of sibling relationship between uh, him and Layla, but um, I, I'm pretty sure he's a not. I'm pretty sure he's not a main character. So there's that. But anyways, next person that's coming, we have a man named. I'm probably gonna butcher the hell out of his name, but he has. But we have, we have someone coming named. Uh, Micah Saluda. I think that's how you pronounce his name. <laughs> if not, I apologize. Uh, you might know him as playing the voice of Soul Eater Evans in Soul Eater. Yeah, um, Maka's Demon Weapon. But pretty darn cool. Um, unfortunately, same thing goes for him that applied to uh, the first voice, act voice actress, uh, Jamie. I do not own anything that is um, Soul Eater related. I think I, actually, I think I actually forgot to even mention that um, <laughs> uh, that she actually um, plays the character of Elizabeth Thompson or Liz, aka Liz Thompson, who's one of the two demon weapons for Death the Kid. But uh, yeah, there's that. <laughs> now he is pretty cool because not only does he play that character uh, Soul Eater Evans, he also plays the the title character Akaito Huga in Kogias Akaito the Exiled. So right there, the main character for Code Geass, the Kaiser, the, the, the Exiled, is coming to Metro. Fucking awesome. <laughs> so that's potentially four voice actors for Code Geass, the Kaiser, the Exiled, I might get signed. Possibly only two because I don't know if the other two are major characters, but hell, I am, I have no idea. So that's a lot of shit I'm gonna get signed at freaking Metro. Let's see, like one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven things I'm getting out of it. Technically, it's actually six because, well, because two people forced the same thing in the same series, but whatever. But pretty darn cool. Uh, I'm actually very excited to, in fact, check to, in fact, go to Metro this year. Um, I have no idea um, how much money I'm going I'm to bring. I'm going to try to bring at least a decent chunk of money to spend because I know, I, I know a lot of people like watching my Metrocon videos. But anyways, yeah. That is it, guys. Uh, let me know what conventions are coming up that you guys are going to. Whether it's an anime convention, combo convention, um, gaming one-wise, who knows. Uh, let me know in the, in the comment section down below if you know any of these voice actors. If you know about, if you know them by any of other roles. So let me. So let me know what you guys all think down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe. Hope, hope you guys all enjoyed. And sayonara.